Olivia Newton-John's daughter, Chloe Latanzi, has shared the bittersweet promise she made her mom before her death. That was my promise to my mom that I would soar, and fly, and be happy, the 37-year-old shared with Today host Hoda Kotb. After a 30-year journey with breast cancer, the actress and musician last August died age 73. My mom's a reminder of that, of just what we can manifest, of how many people we can help with this incredible light that we all have inside of us, said Chloe. She has now vowed to continue radiating light and positivity into the world. My mom is a pioneer, a rebel in a good way. A healer, she added. Just like her mother, Chloe is a singer. Her song Phoenix was one of her mother's favorites. That song is for my mom, she explained. And it's also for anyone who needs to be uplifted, you know, we're all capable of incredible things. Despite all the advocacy work her mother has done, Chloe sees the late star as just her mother. She's my mama, you know, she told Cotby in a segment from February. She's not Olivia Newton-John to me, but I'm so glad that she was Olivia Newton-John for so many people. Last weekend, Chloe paid tribute to her mom at her state memorial service in Australia. Don't miss, my heart is broken in two. The other half is with my mama. I know she's holding it for me until we meet again, Latronzi said in her emotional tribute. She was my safe space, my guide, my biggest fan, and the earth beneath my feet. I know she's here, standing beside me and within me. I can hear her voice you are safe my darling, don't be afraid, you're so much stronger than you think. Speak from your heart, that's all you have to do. Chloe, whose father is Olivia's first husband, the actor Matt Latanzi, owns a marijuana farm in Oregon. Olivia's belief in the healing power of plants was so strong that she set up the Olivia Newton-John Foundation to fund research into holistic therapies for cancer before her death. Cancer Research UK warns that there is not enough reliable scientific evidence to use herbal medicine as a treatment for cancer, something the foundation is hoping to challenge in its work. However, the charity says clinical trials seem to show that certain Chinese herbs may help people to live longer, might reduce side effects, and help to prevent cancer from coming back. This is especially when combined with conventional treatment, 